Welcome to this vlog. So after school we're going home by the bus. It's usually around a 20 minutes journey and then we see our mom is making lihari which is a type of slow cooked meat and bone marrow soup or broth and it's been cooking for a few days and now we're going to have this for lunch with pita bread and we're just watching TV as well. To make their lives better. That's everything from a home to a private jet. Mark, the bargain burn at 18 million. Not Belgravia but you're not too far from Belgravia literally. So here are the tabs I got out for my personal statement, here's an article about the structure and here's an example statement. Also here's the actual website so I used that to see what attributes I needed to include in my personal statement. Here's a video you watched at school that I really liked so I got it out again. And here I got out a caboodle task for chemistry along with the periodic table and everything after that is all my personal statement drafts. I think I made around like 25 by now. Okay, so now I'm going to submit my UCAS application, everything I double checked already, here are the choices I'm picking, so four medicine and one biomedical sciences. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. I'm so glad I got it done before the deadline though, I thought I'd run over. And now school will take a few days to actually submit it. So I decided to start my interview preparation straight away, I had the book borrowed from before, and now I'll start reading this. So now I'm having some butter biscuits. These are so delicious. I really recommend them. And now I'm going to organise my table as well before starting some maths homework later on. I made myself a coffee. This is to do with differentiation. So I'm on exercise 9E. And now I'm going to show all the pages that I have to cover. It's quite a bit because all of this is due tomorrow and none of this is actually in my mock so I have to rush all the exercises. Okay, so after three hours of solid study, I got this much work done. I'm actually so happy with how much I got done. And I'm up to date with the Rion class right now. Afterwards, our neighbours set off some fireworks. I think it's for Halloween. Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. We also ended up finding a firework in our garden afterwards. For dinner, we're having rice with shorisha ilish, which is a type of fish curry that's famous in Bangladesh. It's really delicious. There is a recipe for it in my mom's channel. And finally, for dessert, we're having some fluffy raspberry rolls. Today, after school, my parents decided to pick us up after they had done some shopping. I sat in the front so I can observe my dad driving, as I'm currently learning how to drive as well. We decided to try fire noodles for the first time. Okay, I've left the water to boil. This is basically what comes in the pack. So the noodles, flakes to add at the end and the sauce. Yeah, softening. So I'm just going to keep pressing it down and then... Okay, so the noodles look done. I'm just going to drain them of the water and add the sauce and flakes. In the end, the noodles, they're really tasty but also so spicy. But I did manage to finish my entire plate. My parents weren't as much a fan of it. They thought it was just full of chilli. And afterwards, for some sweetness, my mum made some French toast and ice cream. Afterwards, I updated my notes on communicable diseases. As this is a really wordy topic, I made the notes on Google Slides. And here I'm just cutting down the excess information, highlighting, bolding information, making it more visually attractive. Here's a cute snail my mum found in cooking spinach from the garden. And for dinner we had garlic mushrooms, this was so tasty, so fancy. And also I really recommend you try out the recipe, my mum actually has a recipe on this. Make sure to try it out. For dessert we had Turkish delight fins. I hadn't tried these before but they're actually quite nice. So in the evening I decided to continue my biology notes from before. So here I'm just cutting down more info. I also noted down some past exam questions which I'd gotten wrong. And just in general making it more colourful. And as I didn't get time to finish the entire poster, I decided to revise the rest of the topic by looking at some physics and math tutor notes, which were really helpful. In the morning, after having some cornflakes for breakfast, I decided to do a hardest pass paper question pack for maths, and I sat this in exam conditions. And 
later on at around 12ish we went to the Olympic Park to have a picnic with some family friends. After coming back, I decided to do some more math exercises, but this time for chapter 7, which is trigonometric identities. I think so far this is my favourite section of maths, and here I'm showing a piece of homework that I have to finish off as well. Later on in the evening, I decided to look through my past exam papers for maths, just to see any mistakes I made and any corrections. And I also looked through my current chemistry work as well, as I don't have notes in this section. For dinner, we went to buy a mini pizza each. You can get a pizza or a burger for the same price. I decided to switch up my breakfast today by having some rice krispies and after breakfast I decided to continue my organic chemistry notes which I started earlier in the week. I used both my textbooks and this side is how much I did today. For lunch my mum made us an egg and cheese toasty, it was so delicious. And whilst eating lunch, I decided to revise meiosis for biology. Yeah, yeah, it's in my bag. And now we're going out to visit the Emirates cable cars. <laughs> Do it here, copy rat. No, you sure? What about someone did? Wow. Wow. Four seven four one four seven two four one. What you got? Afterwards, we quickly visited the O2 and took some photos. So annoyed, 
because I have to fit in just this much it's not much and this into this tiny space the way I'm doing it is here all the alkene stuff is pink all the alkene stuff is blue but on the other side um, just each separate section is in different colours so it's like type the formula is all pink just so you can easily distinguish the different sections yellow is the new words or keywords and then I decided to just stuff the reasons there and for biodegradable and vertidegradable I'll do that on a separate piece of paper mainly because I still have half the chapter to go so I might as well just start it off Focus, focus, focus And afterwards as a break I watch some YouTube Next, as we were hungry, my mum made some fuska, and next she shows how to actually make it. Then, that's gonna be cold there. Okay, now I'm going to do some more notes. I only have a little bit of this module left. When I have some salt vinegar hula hoops, um, this is how much I've progressed of the next page. Original shape in Yasha will say, Jartaroni, Kunura home, hot hot sound or Kunushu. A Kunus station, I don't say Tasha Dosh or Bogovija, or the Shaktu Nisha Tasha 